All right, guys. Good afternoon. It's Saturday. Welcome to Cooking with Brenda Lee. So today, guys, I'm going to do some dry ribs, uh, blackened. So I just got through cleaning my ribs, cut them into my seasonings. I'm going to use salt, pepper, my uh, Cajun's Choice blackened seasoning, a little bit of paprika, garlic, so garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of my rib rub, and I'm going to put a little bit of this chicken powder bouillon on here. And then I got a few other things to go with it, but I got to get my ribs marinated. So I'll be back with you in just a while. All right, y'all. So I've got my uh, fat side, which is your bottom side. I've got uh, all my seasonings on this side. I'm going to flip them and do them over. And like I said earlier, guys, I'm doing dry ribs today. I'm going to put barbecue sauce on this side. But anyhow, I'm going to uh, season the other side and get these in the oven. Well, actually, no, I'm going to get these in the refrigerator to marinate for a little while. And then I'll be back with you in, uh, before I get them in the oven, so hold tight. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I got these big old potatoes. I'm laughing because they're the size of my medium cutting board, but Smith gets them in once in a while, so I'm like, hmm. I'm going to uh, rub these babies in with some oil. Put some kosher salt on them, wrap them up in foil, and bake them. Probably going to take me three hours to bake these suckers, but I got it. I'm going to make some stuffed potatoes. So I've got my butter, cheese. I'm just putting salt and pepper, and I'll probably put a little bit of evaporated milk or regular milk in. But I'll show y'all when I get there and some uh, green onions. So let me get these potatoes wrapped up and get them in the oven, and I'll be back with you. It's going to be a little while. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I got my potatoes greased. They're going in the oven for a suntan. And I got salt. I just put the uh, salt, the, the kosher salt, on my grinder. That thick salt, it's going to help. The reason I grease them is because it's going to make the skins a little crispy. So when I take the potato out and stuff them, which y'all see in a little bit, it just holds up a lot better. The thing, the um, skin won't uh, break apart. So anyway, let me get these wrapped up in the oven, y'all. I'm putting them in the oven at 400. And like I said, they're probably going to be about three hours. So <laughs> anyway, I'll be back in a little while, guys. Hold tight. All right, guys. So I just took my potatoes out of the oven. That's some big potatoes, y'all. <laughs> and scooped the uh, potato out in my bowl. I've got my potatoes butter half stick of butter and I'm just going to salt pepper got a little bit of cheese I'm going to save some of the cheese for the top too guys sometimes I get them too cheesy and they're too thick so I'm not doing all that I'm going to put a little bit of milk I was going to use my hand mixer but I'm just going to whisk this up because your potatoes don't have to be uh, perfectly smooth they can be a little chunky it makes it a little bit better Anyway, kind of like a mashed potato. Y'all know what stuffed potatoes are. So anyway, I'm going to get this fixed up. Let me throw a little bit more cheese in here. You can put ricotta in here. Um, I'm going to put some green onion. A little bit of green onion. Not a lot. That's good. And anyway, as soon as I get this mixed up, guys, put whatever seasoning you want in here. Um, I'm just using salt and pepper. Because my ribs are going to be seasoned enough. So anyway, and as soon as I get this mixed up, then I'm going to stuff them. And they're going to go back in the oven with my ribs, which is on 350. And then this will all cook inside my shell. And then the uh, outside of the skin will get a little bit crunchy. That's what makes it so good. You want this kind of wet because if you don't, it's too dry. So there you go. And then I'm just going to take and spoon this and put it inside the potatoes and back in the oven. So I'll be right back as soon as I get them stuffed. All right, guys. So I got my potatoes stuffed. And I put a little bit more chives on the top. I've got some bacon over here frying. And I'm going to chop it up. Put it on the top. I've got them on a flat sheet pan uh, with some parchment paper. And hopefully my skins will get a little bit more uh, crispier. So I'll probably put a little bit more oil on, me, oil on the outside of the skin. So as soon as my bacon's done... I'll get these topped and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I decided I'm gonna fix me a little bit of broccoli and cauliflower. So I've got it cut up and washed. I put a little bit of salt and pepper and some butter. 
I'm going to cook this down <clears throat> for a little bit. And when it's done, I'm going to season it with some lemon pepper. So, just a little something, something different today to go with the ribs and the potatoes. So, let me get this cooked. I'll be back in a few. Y'all, I'm going to fire my <laughs> photographer here. Anyway, um, good Lord. I uh, fried my bacon. Quit laughing. I fried my bacon up, y'all. Kind of crispy. I'm trying to get this all cut up. You can use bacon bits if you want. Whoops, there we go. Um, I'm having a day, guys. Anyhow, it's just a typical Saturday. So, I think I've probably done better just to crunch it with, tear it up with my fingers. So, I'm going to put this back on top of my potato. As you can see, i got my potatoes over here. I think I already showed those to you all. So, I'm not going to make these real small pieces. So, this will work, y'all. Let me just break this up because... I don't have patience today for a knife. I've been cooking all day. Anyway, so I'm going to put this on the top. Kind of mush it down into the potato. And bring it back up together. And like I said, guys, you can set. These are good with ricotta. But once again, somebody doesn't like ricotta cheese. And I just didn't buy a whole thing of ricotta because I don't use it like that. Then when these are almost done, guys, these don't have to go back in the oven. I'm probably going to put them on 30 minutes, in 30 minutes for, uh, at my 350. And then when they're almost done, I'm going to throw a little bit more cheese on the top and brown them back up a little bit. But aren't they pretty? But stuff them with whatever you want, guys. And you know I'm going to have sour cream on mine when they're done. So let me get the, these in the oven, check on my ribs, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back. Ribs are done. Smell good, of course. All that blackened seasoning. These are going to be good. So somebody needs barbecue. Uh, no names. Uh. So anyway, dry. Those are mine. Oh, and I got to share some with Jerry at work tomorrow because he didn't get to share my ribs last time. But anyway, sweet baby rays. Simple. That's all I got to say about that. So I'm going to do this side. Y'all, I hate turning ribs. They, like, kick my tail. Anyway. And then I'm going to turn it back because I want the bones out there. But you see how they're falling off the bone, guys? That means they're done. Somebody always questions when they're done. I know when they're done because I like to cook ribs. Mm-hmm. My ribs are better than other people's. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, I'm going to put these back in the oven. My potatoes are in the oven. I can smell them. They look good. So, anyway... Those, I'm just leaving. I'll just leave them in the pan with these. Now I'm going to flip this back over. Make them all pretty again. Alright, guys. These are going back in the oven. My um, broccoli and cauliflower with the lemon pepper seasoning is done. And the potatoes are almost done. So, as soon as these cook for a few minutes, we'll have a plate to show you. So, hang on. All right, guys, just when you think you're done cooking, uh, just because somebody don't like broccoli and cauliflower, I'm going to uh, fix this um, Gouda Private Selection uh, Mac and Cheese. If you all have never eaten the Private Selection brand at Smith's slash Kroger, their Wisconsin cheddar is good. This Gouda I've not had but I'm going to try it, so let me get my macaroni going. Alright, y'all, so I got everything done. I'm so tired of cooking today, but hey, another video. So, I've got my Gouda, which is kind of like a white cheddar mac and cheese. My broccoli and a cauliflower with lemon pepper seasoning. My ribs, we've got a barbecue on the left. We've got the dry rub on the right. And guys, that is just falling off the bone. And my stuffed baked potatoes and guys this looks so good i am so ready to eat watch some football enjoy the rest of my night so as always i really appreciate you all if you watch my videos remember if you like them hit the like button please give me a comment say something anyway i'll respond to you subscribe to that channel and turn the notification bell on so when i drop a video it'll let you know i hope you all have a wonderful saturday have a great weekend. 
Until my next video, I appreciate you all.